Hey, everybody. <laughs> you see the caption? I saw this with a uh, new diamond. New is in you, apostrophe diamond. So, ladies, don't settle for a broke dude. As I have said before, you can see the difference in the cultures. That's why the group is at the bottom. You can see the difference in the cultures, what they're telling their daughters and what we've been taught. Pick up a bro- long as he black and breathing. You got a man. Talk about the light bill. A lot of these men, let's be real. Let's not pretend. We know darn well a lot of these men cannot even pay that. They're paying zero. It's all on the woman. Some of them can't even put the put a, a, a take a gas in a vehicle. It's on the woman. So I wonder if this man is telling what he's telling his daughters. It says ladies don't settle for a broke dude. And you wonder when a black man gets some money, they come around it, you think? That's why I said black women aren't gold diggers. They're dust diggers. Why? Because they're choosing dust. That's what's available. And heaven forbid you think outside the box. So check this out. Let me pick a guy that can't get over to my house because he needs gas money or his bus pass expired and he doesn't get paid till Monday. Let me let me pick a guy to have a baby with that may or may not be able to freaking buy diapers and formula. Let me let me pick a guy that can't take me anywhere on any vacation. Why would you pick a dude that doesn't have any ability to contribute financially to your life as well? To me, that's yeah. not a gold digger. That is a smart, intelligent woman being more selective in yes. her choosing. You know, is that people want to call them gold diggers. And you know who usually calls them gold diggers? Who's that? The ones that, without the gold. Uh-oh. The ones without the gold. That man is speaking facts. Facts. That's why he don't have to go. He's sleeping. <laughs> That's why he don't have to go. He busy sleeping. Not busy building. He's sweeping. He him got to take a nap. He been working? Oh no. I've seen this literally. He'll be all night partying. Hey, I land up with some chick, come home in the morning, go to sleep. And then black queen mama try to burden her daughters. Hey, can you run some errands for me? No, you need to have your son run those errands. You know the one you bought a car for. You you already bought him a car. You pay for the insurance and the gasoline. So you th- oh well, he just got in. He's sleeping. Uh-uh. They're running a black woman like a mule. Your grandmama calling? She, they'll be paying his car, his insurance, his apartment. Oh, I, I've seen it. They'll be staying free with someone. Always sleeping. He got this part down. Did you hear what the man said? He said contribute uh, financially. Did you hear that? He can't buy a diaper. <laughs> if you can't buy a diaper, child, he can't even pay the light bill. For some of them, the light, paying the light bill is a goal. I'm serious. Paying the light bill is a goal. For some, it's like having a man on training wheels. What Tyler Perry said about him paying the light bill and then every now and then. So let's be real. Let's not even pretend. I think he's giving them too many darn points, Mr. TP. We know darn well a lot of them can even pay the life bill. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We know darn well. How are you going to pay the life bill? He can't even buy diapers. If he can't buy diapers, he can't pay the life bill. Are you serious? Oh, having a babe. You got to be out your mind. But that's the norm in the BC. Why? Black women gonna handle it. You, you got it. You got it. He's a princess. We don't want to put. He busy sleeping. Him, him sleep. And then when you have a baby by this dude, it's all the black woman. You making yourself look bad. It's never him. He's the protected one. He's the protected class. Can't put the stress on him. Him sleeping. But don't worry. So what you do is just go and find other industrious black women and ruin their dreams. Go oh go to her. She working two jobs. Why? Well, she has a plan. She's working two jobs and put all of her money back for a house. Or maybe she wants to go back to school. She's working two jobs, put all her money back. So that when she goes to school, she can just work part time and have the bills paid. Then knock knock knock. 
Oh, uh, something happened, you know. Uh, well, what's her baby daddy? Well, he can't do much, you know what I'm saying? So, what's have to do with me? Well, they don't have the rent money this week, and we're gonna need somebody to help. Uh uh, I'm not doing that. Oh, those babies gotta have a Christmas. No, no, they don't. They gotta have some kind of Christmas. Now. It's a birthday coming. Here come the mammy. Well, mammy sure had a mouth and a whole lot. Pull out your pocketbook, boo. Because see, a lot of this here is coming from you. What are we teaching our daughters? Just be black and breathing. Some men cannot even pay the light, but I kid you not. Let's not lie. We, we, know, we know what's true in the B.C. So Tyler paid about that light bill. Oh, child, I guess he's trying to put that one on some training wheels and push him along. <laughs> We're going to start you off now with the light bill. Can't put too much on him now. <laughs> We're going to start you off with the light bill. And you get on this tricycle. God, don't worry. You're not going to fall. We got some training wheels on. And what it is, they got him on a little bike trying to get the light bill paid. And the training wheels is two black women, one on each side. One over here going to pay for the mortgage, the insurance, the health insurance, the property taxes, the car and the gas. The one over here, she's going to go ahead and pay for the groceries and the incidentals that you need. That's going to be your mama. And so you basically have a man on a bike, size 13, shoe, big old six foot, six foot two Negro on a bike. And he got two training wheels while two black women, they're going to, they're going to carry it through, make sure he don't fall. So we're going to put him on the little, little light bill Larry trike, put him on a little tricycle and then try to push him on. Then once he gets past the light bill, we might can try some gasoline. Better yet, how about the two black women that's on the side, the little training with a little support? They can probably scrounge enough, enough money to get them a car. Now, we done bought you a car. Your grandmama, your mama going to pay the insurance. And then your baby mama or your uh, wife or your black sister going to pay for the gas and the maintenance. And you, and you get to drive around. Can't you put much pressure on them now? A Negro on training wheels. I, I, he, how old is this Negro? 32 years old. So, I, Tyler gave him a little push. We know darn well a lot of them ain't even paying the light bill. Let's not pretend. He trying to, he trying to give him a little push. Start him off. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler's going to start him off with the light bill. We get him, pay that light bill and a couple of dinners now. See, see if, let's see if he can handle that. <laughs> let's see if he can handle the light bill and, and a few dinners. Well, he, he's torched off the, off the two, for, two for 20. A three or four course meal. Wait a minute now. We got to get past the two. He paid that light bill. Two for 20 now. You might get to pick the dessert. So get him slowly. Give him five more years. He might can go ahead and graduate from the light bill. And maybe half the rent or half the mortgage. Give him, give him five years. They got this Nick on a training wheel. A bike with training wheels. Starting with the light bill. <laughs> I have seen black women. Holidays come around. The husband sent flowers. And it's so funny. I remember I was on a job. And <laughs> one of them, she, oh, it's Valentine's Day. Okay, my husband sent flowers too, but I didn't buy mine. And I thought to myself, and me and another girl, well, we just look at each other because we already knew her husband has like zero income. So if he has like zero income, let's be real, he... He is limp pocket Larry. He can't even pay the light bill. Again, Tyler trying to give him a little push. <laughs> He's trying to push the responsibility on him. You can pay the light bill and maybe a few things every now and then. <laughs> Let's be real. We know a whole lot of them not even doing that. We we have listen, we know some of them. They can't even pay for gas. We've seen videos where the near girl is sitting in his woman's car. He's sitting in the passenger seat. So I'm assuming she's paying for the car. She's car. She paying for the gas. He won't even get out and pop the gas. You think he paying a light bill? TP trying to put him on some training wheels. I guess we're going to try to boost them along. <laughs> Let's be real. We know darn well men ain't paying light bill. So back to the road, flowers. So she's like, oh, my husband got me for Valentine's Day. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Girl, you pay for your own flowers. He can't even pay that. He has zero income. His job is to take her to work and then pick her up. That's his job. So let's not act brand new. The light bill. Most of them, a lot of them aren't even paying that. Let's look at that. So if she, he's using her money to send her some flowers, you're basically paying for your own flowers. 
Who paying for the Valentine's Day dinner? You are. Who paying for the anniversary dinner? You are. Lynn Pocket Larry. Lynn Pocket Larry. What about you? You know, your mind. She's paying for her own because he does. He has no income. A lot of them have no income. So the light bill, they can't even pay that. TP trying to trying to boost them low. Put on her, <laughs> look, let's be real. Lot, lot of them can't do it. I have seen black women out on dates, and when the check come, her man, she picking that check. Me, I've I've seen it. I've seen some black men out on dates. Them black men pull, you know, they, they know to pay. But I have seen some sisters on dates on brunches. The world is watching. The world is watching. But you're going to have a baby. And then you wonder why you're struggling. That's why. That's what. A, so what he's saying, you see what they're teaching their daughters and what we're being taught. So, so everybody mad at Tyler. Let, let's be realistic. He's trying to give him a little boost. The light bill and maybe a couple of dinners. Because if we're going to be real, if we're going to be real, let's not lie and pretend. Most, a lot of them can't even do that. It's like putting a grown behind man, like I said, on, on their little trike and got some training was on them trying to boost the little Negro into manhood, try to boost them on. <laughs> Listen, let me know what you all think. You can see the difference in what, in what the communities are teaching their daughters. That's why when they see a black man with some money, they know how to come running. And all it does is just carrying these men, it wastes time with the black women. Because times, I've learned from that real quick. Uh uh-uh. uh. Times some, some happens. Another black woman got to go in her little pockets and pull out. I've already seen that. Oh, I've already seen it. I already seen it. Taking up the slack. Why? They are truly dusty. Lynn Pocket Larry. And then I guess the next level is to be Lynn Pocket Light Bill Larry. I guess he can at least pay the light bill in this community like he really doing something. And then to keep ha- have a baby by that. Who didn't get the memo? Baby, we can't be that slow. You know what's going to happen, right? But don't worry. In the BC, they just find a little black woman and ruin her financial dream. Come tap it on her window. Hey, you know we got a situation with Kiki Noon, and that you know she got a baby. The baby come. We need to all get together and throw okay a shower. Okay, now the birthday, now the holiday is coming. Where, where's her man? Lynn Pocket Dust Bucket Larry. So ladies, don't settle for a broke dude. Black women got this down pat. That's what we've been taught. Well, I wasn't taught, but I'm saying as a, in in the culture. My dad already taught me. Yeah, he's he's taught me real well. We had father and daughter conversations. Not my mom. My dad it wasn't my mother. It's my father. What to look for? And it sure wasn't no broke one. So black women are not gold diggers. They just settling with some broke, broke ninjas. And I'm out.